Okay, good evening, Professor Gaziotin. It's very nice that you have some minutes for us here at the Macro International Expert Summit in Bangkok. You're coming from Italy and you're the, currently the director of the Center of Gynecology and Medical Sexology at the San Raffaele Resorati in Milano in Italy. So you took a long way and it must be very important that uh, you're traveling here to Bangkok and uh, you're also a presenter here. And um, you're speaking about probiotics, gynecology, pregnancy and early childhood. Could you please summarize a little bit the main points of your presentation? With pleasure. I'm an Italian gynecologist and oncologist, and I'm delighted to be here because I've been using probiotics for many, many years and have quite a number of interesting things to share with my colleagues of other specialties. First of all, let's see how a gynecologist sees the issue of the microbiota. We know that we have a gut brain that for women is so important. Why that? Because the gut brain that we have here mediates emotions, pain threshold, behavior, feelings, memories. So we women really need to know more and doctors should know more. What is the gut brain for those who are not gastroenterologists? Well, it is a very important part of our body with the three leading partners. The microbiota, a real organ per se, the bowels, and the powerful enteric nervous system. It was discovered in the 18th century by Euerbach and Meissner, but these people, this physician, just thought it was necessary for the functions of the bowel. Now that we know that it's our first brain, and this brain overdetermines our well-being. First point. For the gynecologist, the microbiota is so important. Why? They have 3 million 300,000 genes. We, 23,000. This means that from the genetic point of view, we are the guest of the microbiota. So we had better to go to stay in good terms together. For the gynecologist and for women, the microbiota is so important because it dialogues with the woman in different seasons of their life. First of all, in childhood, we do have a certain type of germs in the composition of the microbiota. With puberty, it changes dramatically. But what is important is that the microbiota has enzymes like a beta glyguronidases and these enzymes can activate estrogens. Even more important, they produce sexual hormones and have receptors for the sexual hormones. So there is a tight, unthought of dialogue between our belly, our ovary, and our brain. Second, during the menstrual cycle, this microbiota changes according to the level of estrogens, the fluctuations of estrogens, and progesterone. And for women who have inflammation in their bowels, irritable bowel syndrome, we have a worsening of this syndrome every single period. So, so important to work together, gastroenterologist and gynecologist. In pregnancy, we have huge changes. In delivery, and after delivery, even more, because we have a fall of estrogens from 30, 40,000 picograms per ml to almost nothing. And this determines a huge change, not only in a woman's body, but also in the microbiota. And after the menopause, we do have again massive changes with an increase in the germs producing gas. That's why the vast majority of menopausal women who do not take hormone replacement therapy, we have their belly swollen. Why that? More and more gas. They have changes in the bowel habits. Why that? Because without estrogens and with low level of testosterone DHEA, the production of the liquids from the bowel glands changes. This changes the terrain, so to say, the soup where the germs live, and this will determine immense changes in the way women digest the food, in their bowel habits, as I said, but also in their mood. So my first key concept is that we gynecologists should learn more and more about the microbiota and about the wise 
clinical use of probiotics.